In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write effective ad copy to get you more conversions and differentiate you from your competitors on Google Ads. And this video is about saving time, so let's save you some time and get right into it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to represent a fictional company called Salka Supplements that sells gut health supplements, pills, things of that nature, and competes with companies like AG1, Seed, Truly Wellness, and things like that. Before we jump into it, I want to emphasize that effective use of AI, especially for copywriting, requires excellent prompt engineering. And if you don't know what prompt engineering is, I linked an AWS article in the description below. So for the first prompt, we're going to tell ChatGPT exactly what we're trying to accomplish with this exercise. So I've already written the prompt here so that you don't have to watch me type, but I'm going to read this back to you. So to start out, my first prompt is, I'm writing ad copy for a Google ad that highlights my company's brand tone and voice, our unique selling points, customer pain points, and differentiates us from our competitors. I'm going to provide you with as many of the above details as I can to help you write this copy. Do you understand? I'll always follow my initial prompts with do you understand so that ChatGPT relays me back the information that I provided so that I can ensure that it actually understands what I'm saying and what I'm looking to accomplish with the prompt that I gave it. So this is essentially the reason why I say do you understand because it'll relay that information back to me. So now I know that it's ready for me to provide those additional details that I mentioned. Now we're gonna give ChatGPT all that brand specific information and details about your brand, about your products and services so we can get this dialed in. Now this is gonna require some upfront work and some upfront research on your end to establish what your brand tone is, what your brand voice is. Here's where you're gonna to wanna to give information about the products you sell and just more information about your brand in general. So for the sake of saving time, I just entered this prompt into ChatGPT and it's spitting me back an answer now. So my brand in this instance is Salka Supplements, like I said, and we sell gut health supplements that contain the following ingredients, list of ingredients. These are designed to boost your immune system, sustain energy and have fewer cravings, help with pooping, reduce gas and bloating, increase mental acuity, quicker recovery after exercise, etc and we serve the health and wellness industry. And then I provide some information about the target audience as well, which is something that I would highly recommend. And like I said, there is gonna be, need to be some upfront research done here, some understanding about your brand in general, who that target audience is so that you can provide that information. ChatGPT once again confirmed that it understands exactly what I'm saying so we can move forward from here. There really are limitless details at this point that you can provide. I would recommend only using what you think is necessary for your ad copy already in your mind. What messaging are you looking to relay to the audience who is your audience what's important to them what service offerings do you have maybe if you have discounts going on if there's certain statistics or industry related facts that might be more influential to get somebody to click on your ad and convert so the next prompt is to have ChatGPT spit out a first draft basically of the ad copy based on the details that you already provided we want to make sure that we're giving ChatGPT the correct number of headlines and descriptions so that's 15 headlines and four descriptions for the sake of filling out an entire responsive search ad. And we also want to make sure that the headlines and descriptions are within the character limitations that Google Ads has. Headlines have 30 characters and descriptions have 90 characters maximum. So given all the information that I provided, write 15 headlines and four descriptions for the Google Ad and note that all the headlines must fall within those character limitations. So it should produce the first round of ad copy now. Cool. So not, not bad at all. And you can see how based on this, it does have a solid understanding of what my product offering is. It's, it's super, super bland. A lot of them are, but it's a good starting point. First draft is not going to be good. It could be, but this is basically to confirm that ChatGPT has a solid understanding. From this point forward, you'll be able to provide additional details to dial in that ad copy. One of the best ways to write effective ads is to go on the existing Google search results page type in a keyword that you think is relevant to your product or service offering. In the instance of Salka supplements, it would be best gut health supplements. And take a look at what the messaging looks like already on the search engine results page from your competitors. So best gut health supplements. Now let's see what comes up from an existing ad perspective. So here we go. We have seed and we have athletic greens and thorn. Something that I can tell right off the bat, I do see they have a description saying that there's 24 probiotic strains for gut health. But I don't really see too many statistics here. So I think something that could be really effective is to include some statistics about gut health. Maybe it reduced bloating for a certain amount of your customers or a certain percentage of your customers experienced a positive result. Obviously be more specific than that, 
but you can see this here and you can use this information to inspire and prompt ChatGPT to include certain information that these ads do not. And there could be other benefits, like for example, I don't see anybody here saying anything about free shipping. You see, save up to 20% with a subscription, there's sales, no, this isn't really a good one here, no offense, first form. First form, if you need some help, hit me up. But um, yeah, maybe free shipping could be something that you emphasize, if that's a service offering that you have. And it seems like a lot of these competitors are also hesitant to say what the price of their product is. Maybe that's an angle that you have to increase the likelihood of somebody clicking and ultimately converting as well. I'm gonna show you another little competitive bonus tip using the free version of SEMrush. So going over to SEMrush here, I'm gonna show you this. Obviously you'll need to set up an account if you don't already have one, but something really cool here, move myself over here. If you go down here to advertising and you click over here on advertising research, you can look up the names of some of those competitors that you saw in the search engine results page. So for example, if we wanted to look at Athletic Greens, we could look up www.drinkag1.com. And then we go over to ads copies. And this will show you some additional search ads um, that they're already running on Google to get you more inspiration about what messaging that they're portraying. And you could do this for all of the competitors that were on there to help you get a better idea and feed that information into ChatGPT. So after analyzing our competitors' ads, we're gonna take those findings and those learnings and feed them into ChatGPT. So for example, we saw that a lot of those competitors on the search engine results page didn't use statistics to drive home their points. If you have that information on hand at your company, then you can, or maybe you can even do a survey or you can find some statistics, but we can use that information to feed into ChatGPT and say, Here's some statistics that are relevant to our brand. Incorporate that into the ad copy that we're gonna be using for this search ad. So I just typed in some more information to provide to ChatGPT, including some industry statistics and some statistics that are relevant to my brand. Obviously this is fictitious and you wanna make sure to have your own industry statistics and ones that are actually accurate and relevant. But some that I included here for Salka supplements are 93% of customers experienced an energy boost. Subscribers save 20% on each additional order. Subscribers get free shipping. First time buyers get a 20% discount. And a lot of these are based on the product offerings that we saw from the existing search results page. Nobody talked about free shipping. Nobody talked about industry statistics. Nobody talked about customer satisfaction. We did see AG1 talk about the amount of ingredients that they provide, but I included that as well. So we can include that because that obviously is performing well for AG1. So I'm gonna enter this now and see what the second round of ad copy looks like. See, so this really goes to show how you're gonna have to kind of work with it, review the ad copy and then provide additional details because I provided those industry statistics and now that's kind of all that ChatGPT is using um, in the headlines and descriptions and really, really driving those home. And we want a little bit of a mixture of both. We do want those statistics emphasized, but we also want some general copy as well. So what I would start to do at this point is open up a separate tab of an Excel file, Google Sheet, and start extracting the headlines and descriptions that you do like, and then have ChatGPT continue to produce new rounds of ad copy and continue to take away the ones you like and get rid of the ones that you don't. So I went ahead and created a Google Sheet here, and I'm gonna copy and paste the ones that I like Obviously, you'll do the same here for your brand. So I would just make a line called headlines, one called descriptions. So at this point, I would take the ones that you do like and get rid of the ones that you don't. You can basically take those headlines and descriptions and include information and edit them yourself. You don't necessarily have to use ChatGPT for every single iteration. If you see one that you like and maybe a part of it, take that part out, paste it in here and include more details. So for this example, I added in Salka supplements. So get real gut health results. 97% had less gas in the first month using Salka supplements. It's within the character limitation, so it's good to go. And you can just continue to do this. So write 15 more headlines and four more descriptions using all of the information about my company that I provided. It's pretty simple and you can keep going from here because now that ChatGPT has a good understanding of your brand, it's gonna to continue to spit out ones that are pretty dialed in at this point. Like this one, say goodbye to bloat. I'm not gonna include the shop now because I've already included that, but there's another example, say goodbye to bloat. 
So already at this point, I have 12 headlines and three descriptions. All I need is three more headlines and another description to be able to fill out an entire responsive search ad. And you can continue to provide additional tweaks and additional details. For example, if you want to include your brand name more, you could tell ChatGPT, okay, include my brand name and a couple more headlines and maybe in a description or two and just keep working it that way because now it has the understanding that it needs and you can just keep providing information and dial it in as much as you want. A pro tip here would be to pull enough ad copy that you can have two separate responsive search ads that you can A-B test. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have 15 unique headlines and four unique descriptions and both A-B tests. Maybe just have a couple different aspects to each of the search ads that you're going to run. Maybe you're pinning a headline in the other one. Maybe there's a different statistic. You wanna pin a headline for one statistic in this one and a different statistic in the other search ad that you're running. Get creative with it and mess around, but A-B testing is the way that you can continue to figure out which ads are gonna get a higher click-through rate, which ones have a higher conversion rate, and which ones are actually driving the results and the purchases for your e-commerce business or just your business in general. I would say run an A-B test for around 30 days and then assess performance. Keep the one that is performing better running, pause off the other one, make a couple tweaks and changes, let it go live again. But the main point is make sure ChatGPT understands what you're trying to accomplish, give it as much details as possible, and then make sure that you provide it with all of the information that it needs about your brand tone, voice, target audience, your brand name, the type of services you provide, the type of clients that you service. This should be a way that you can save massive amounts of time when writing ad copy. Make sure it's dialed in and differentiated from your competitors and get after it towards your business goals with Google Ads.